Hey guys, welcome to the final match of BSL Chovu League Group D. Hoff versus Jess. Whoever wins this advances, whoever loses is out of the tournament. It has been fantastic thus far. I think this grouping has been a joy to cast. Upper left hand corner, blue Protoss, although kind of the, this is what I don't like, where it's like blue where you can't see their actual name. BSL Jess, bottom right hand corner, BSL Hoff. And I think they actually, what's ironic is I think they might have the BSL names up not just for BSL Season 11, but I think they might even have been playing this on uh, preparation for BSL 12 accounts. So building up that MMR. This is on Overwatch, which it reminds me of Katrina, I think. I think that's the right map. Still a two-player map. Uh, larger, I feel like this, again, is still a BSL exclusive pylon for both players at kind of a distance advantage. Thus far, Jess has got the, the build orders we've seen have been sneaky DTs to expand, uh, against the 12 Nexus, the Proxy Robo. Also, I want to comment, the Proxy Robo finally paying off in that last match. Hoff uh, mostly has gone for two gate Robo stuff. Observer, two gate and do expand. Uh, we'll see. And I feel like Hoff finally has the nerves out and finally getting legging, so I'm expecting a good match. There's one gateway plopping down and the scout moving out. This is one of those maps that I feel like the more gateway heavy build orders tend to get punished because of this ramp feature. Essentially, if you have even you get def a much larger defender advantage off two bases than you would otherwise. So we'll see what happens and that sometimes leads to more macro oriented play. Sometimes, not always, sometimes. A simulator for both players thus far. There's also the ramp feature, so you expect Dragoons to be a little bit stronger than Zealots. Really quick, I want to give a shout out to all of the other BSL commentators out there once again. I know Ver has also done it. So Master Ray, Ver are the two ones who I believe are doing most of Hasu League. I'm not sure if they touched on, Sh and, uh, and also Gosu League. I'm not sure if they touched on Chobo League or not. Of course, there's the main BSL commentators in Nyokin and Gypsy. And Nyokin has also been, I mentioned the Arto, you know, the Tastosis cast, which I think is the main one to support, but also Scan has been casting the matches live with Nyokin, and when Scan is in ASL, he's had to hand it over to Gypsy to cast, so they're both BSL casters out there. Or is it Gypsy? I'm brain farting here. Yeah, I think he, I haven't watched him yet. I haven't filled in. So point being, I, I've been waiting for the Tastosis, the Tastosis VODs, of the ASL casts. What would be hype is if we could get Tastosis on any sort of BSL or even getting them participating. I know part of the problem is is the time zone difference for them to be able to participate. Hoff not getting the cybernetics core upgrade just yet. Now it's starting to spin. Was already spinning for a couple seconds there from, Je from Jess. I was wondering if we were going to see, I think got the Dragoon first before anything else. I wanted to deny that. Dragoon's out from both corners, going to be able to deny both scouts. Actually, never mind. It's the small victories, right? Just able to get that probe out. Small moral victories that eventually lead to the larger. But might want to, yeah, plug that in case there are additional scouts moving on. A zealot to follow up. Interesting that there is a zealot to follow that up. One gate robo. Huh, from Jess. I'm wondering if this is just going to be straight quick reaver. Interesting. Does have the scout deny. Ro oh, one gate robo opposite side from Hoff. Interesting. So currently mirrored build orders. The big difference here is that we do see a zealot from Hoff. And Hoff is starting to... M yeah, okay. Moving, taking that low ground ramp. I don't like the move out of that army again because of the defender's advantage across this. And because this happens. You can see the... The Dragoon got knocked off the pathing, and so now you got a, and I don't even know that Hoff realizes this, you got a Dragoon and a Zealot that are segregated and not going to be able to press up and do as much attacking as was initially desired. Probe sneaking around, going to check out that natural expansion to see whether it's up and maybe sneak its way back out. Luckily for Hoff, not going to pay for that, but again, that's why I'm like, eh, I don't know about ground forces on this map. Two gateways, that also might be why we're seeing the earlier Robo. Observatory Robotic Support Bay, so we are going to see Reaver play. Three Dragoons holding that front door to deny any sort of scouting. Jess is, I think, going to wait for an Observer. Two Gateway, opposite corner. A shuttle being built. 
and an observatory. And I would like other Protoss players to comment on this. Mostly because I feel like um, the the shuttle feels too early to me. It's like, yeah, you're, you're building it when you have the resources to do it, but it feels like they could have been better spent elsewhere. Just moving that scout around the far corner of the map to maybe try to sneak in. And Hoff actually giving up the front ground, so she's going to be able to... So Jess is going to be able to see that there's not an expansion there. Building a reaver on the low ground, protectively also getting out a second gateway now. So I think Jess is going to be in, and I think saving up for just like a ground crawl to take the natural expansion. Second probe also sneaking its way back up there, still not seeing anything. So both players, because of how wide this expansion is, being a little bit more careful, a little bit more cautious, and taking the natural expansion. Jess now moving a little bit more forward now that that rearer is going to be out there to support and going to get the early economic lead. Probe scout dying on the front, but I think that Jess got a good look that this was not being built. Observer says, yeah, see, the shuttle's just kind of hanging out here for a long period of time, right? And that's not like zealots that are being dropped in the main. I do like this pylon um, being placed and Hoff kind of getting the good eyes elsewise. Needs to be careful with this observer. This could be critical whether this observer gets picked off or not here on the front. We'll be able to see the reaver, I think. We'll even need to be careful. Oh. Eh, maybe not. Gets, yeah, instantly picked off. That's actually a big loss. That's more significant than it seems because that makes the option of... De First of all, didn't get scout, didn't see tech. You can assume there's a natural expansion going up, but you don't know if there's DTs or anything else. you got to be super careful. Hoff getting this nexus significantly. So getting the nexus while this... So what do I want to call that? Two-thirds of nexus behind? Two-thirds of nexus behind. Two gateways being uh, placed. Pro count is in Hoff's advantage, but that is not going to last for very long with this Nexus being plopped up much, much earlier. Single Reaver inside here. Are we going to see Reaver Dragoon and sneaking back in there, or is it just going to be for defensive purposes? Looks like it's just going to be sitting here for defensive purposes. That's the other thing I don't understand with the, the low ground ramp stuff here, for the play from Hoff, and maybe Hoff can message me about this and uh, discuss this, but I, I feel like having the shuttle is oftentimes protective, yes, for the Reaver, but when you have this many Dragoons, um, in the front, I feel like just slow walking is just fine, right? Unless you're trying to protect against a very particular timing that I'm uh, unaware of, which is, you know, that's potential. Uh, both players kind of going into more macro-oriented play. Again, just is going to have the overall ec economic advantage here, plus going to be able to produce double probes compared to just the one probes. And again, I feel like the difference here is that shuttle and when that shuttle's built and at what point it's ha that's happening in the build order. Observer, this is also critical because of that loss of that observer. That's allowing Jess to walk in and see all of this and see everything that was being built here. We do see uh, speed being upgraded for Jess with that shuttle. So that suggests either, okay, aggressive ground play to move across the map or perhaps additional drops. This probe, I think, has been sitting here this entire time. Lazy probe, or maybe that's just a rally point. Plopping down a third gateway upon seeing all of that. Third gateway just coming up online for Hoff and Hoff now moving forward with so has two reavers has a shuttle that will provide an advantage if there's an end around here but it's still going to come down to micro and still I feel like the reinforcements trying to come across this ramp as far as being just flat aggressive not all that great plus the observer is going to see all this and if this ramp is trying to be taken that's not a good not a good situation. Maybe what Hoff is hoping for is like kind of a dual pronged attack. But you can see Jess is moving those dragoons to engage this shuttle. Because no happened. Maybe that'll open things up for the like far end around thing. Ooh, those dragoons were on attack move, so one of them gets taken out. Although there's a little bit of a panic drop of a reaver. I still feel like this is in Jess's favor overall. Four gateways down in the back corner. There's a shuttle out now with speed, just finishing for Jess, which is going to give a big mobility advantage. Three gateways uh, up as well. A couple of lazy dragoons. Slight positional advantage for Hoff, just being aggressive here. And I think a sizable dragoon advantage here. Needs to be careful with that shuttle and where it is located, though. Dropping that reaver right there. The shuttle almost getting picked off. Does get picked off with the Reaver inside. So it's going to be two Reavers versus one Reaver plus the Dragoons and reinforcements. But keep in mind, 
Hoff had more units on the ground, but that's still two Reavers in the background. Hoff with five Reavers now pressing up. This is kind of a weird reinforcement point, and Hoff actually might be able to just press through this with just Superior Dragoon Micro and a Superior Engagement Point. That's four Dragoons and a single Reaver on the low ground versus two Reavers and reinforcements coming up from above. I think this might be three gateway versus four gateway production as well. And so since this reinforcement point's breached, Hoff might be able to take this match. Maybe. Pressing up, that shuttle's having to back off with that Reaver inside. That's four Dragoons and a Reaver at the natural, which is not what Jess wants. Pro count still even for the moment. And Jess needs to do something immediately to get back in this match. Trying to move back around. Now the pro count starting to plump for Jess. The more this fighting lost the shuttle, Reaver comes out, gets one last hit on these Dragoons. That's going to even up the Dragoon count. But the Reaver's still here, and in the meantime, Jess has lost probes, and that mining's been disrupted at the natural expansion. Hoff continuing to press that pressure. That Reaver still stands. Reaver's finally been taken out. But not before there was a lot of mining disruption. Not before there were a significant amount of... Well, not a significant amount. Enough probe count lost that it makes a difference. And ha Oof. That was really close to Hoff just taking the match right there. It was just one Reaver shot into here. And hitting those probes, that would have been honestly game. But Hoff backs off. Is at four gateways. Getting another shuttle up. getting Going up to five gateways here. The big advantage for Hoff is just... Look at this. Look at this. Uh, the visual... The visuals that Hoff has as well. Can see absolutely everything. Sees the, the, the gateway count from Jess. Now starting to retreat with a lot of that. Finally, some additional Dragoons resupplying on the front. Some latent probes. This is still four, four gateways versus an, a superior gateway count comparative. Hoff has map control, so he's going to go ahead and take the six. The one thing that Jess has is this observer, which has been unimpeded out in the field. And the thing for Jess as well is, is like taking the third, that's going to immediately get spotted by Hoff. So I'm going to give not a death grip advantage, but an advantage to Hoff here. The one advantage that Jess does have, if it's going to be utilized, which maybe not considering that last attack, is with another shuttle, the speed shuttle is still upgraded on that side. Both players do have Citadel of Dune. Both players are upgrading that Citadel of Dune. Templar Archives being built for Hoff as well. I do not see Citadel being planted anywhere for Jess. Jess wandering up, and this is, yeah, see, it's a big signal here now to Hoff that, okay, now Jess is moving out to go ahead and try to establish that third. And that observer finally getting taken out inside the main base, and that's got to be that's got to be feel bad, feels bad, man. Um, moment for Jess, knowing that observer, and wow, it's still sitting there, unimpeded. Feels bad, man. Moment, just because all of that was seen, you know. Hoff moving up, still a slow shuttle, might be able to breach the ramp. There's the speed shuttle moving across with a single zealot. Are the shuttles going to see each other? I think the shuttles just saw each other, but does. Oh no, Hoff doesn't react to it. This could be a big equalizer, specifically if it can get here and do something. Observer gonna track that. I'm gonna keep an eye on uh, down here. Cannon hits, they're escaping, the Zealot dropping off. Hoff desperately trying to get that army back. Completely disrupted mining at two bases now. Just with the speed shuttle. Also trying to sneak a, another base, fourth base, right there in the bottom left-hand corner. That shuttle, oof. I was about to say, is it going to get taken out at the main? Does not get taken out of main. This shuttle's still in position to maybe do something. So, some disruption happening in Jess's favor. And that, you can see the difference in economic output that happened between there. That also gives room for Jess to go ahead and, yeah, take map advantage as this army was not in position. But, but, if Just is not going to move on, this game will move more and more in Hoff's favor, assuming the macro's there. Big engagement in the middle of the field. 
Reaver were down earlier for Jess, and I think they're getting better hits on that spread. Zealots are also on top of the Dragoons here, but it looks like there's just superior amounts of forces on the ground for Hoff. Is there Psystorm? Good Psystorm on top of both the Reavers, the Shuttle, everything of the high tech, and Jess is going to have to retreat. Lost a lot of units there. The Shuttle being aggressive, and ooh, come back here, Shuttle. Yeah. And so Hoff, that's a big win for Hoff. Because Hoff was able to push this army back, as long as Jess stays back, that's more time for more economy to be established for Hoff. Getting additional stuff taken care of. Has ooh, Shuttle's going to spot Shuttle. Might be able to plant this, nevertheless. Tempted to do so. This Shuttle being used almost as an observer to, to sway that one back. And this is the thing. That's a High Templar. As soon as it has energy, this is a small bushy... Small bushy? This is a small ramp. And while I was not paying attention, a DT managed to take out that 12 o'clock base. More wins for Hoff. No Observer anywhere. So a DT also getting into the natural. Invisible men. They've played such a huge role in this match. And I think that is going to be game. That's got to be so frustrating for Jess. Finally an Observer out. That DT still wandering around and being annoying. Still able to get additional probe kills. Attacking the own pylon. A high Templar drop? Yes, please. Oh my goodness. And a devastating storm to follow. That is going to put Jess all in. Jess diving on top of this Dragoon force. As long as Hoff keeps up with the macro and can fight this army back, that will be game. Reaver's down. But a lot of this army was thinned out. Just continuing to press forward. Reinforcements coming across. Zealots are right there, but Zealots versus Reavers is not the matchup you want. On top of the Dragoons, Reavers been taken out. And now, yeah, I think that's all she wrote. I think Jess put up a valiant fight, but that's GG. Well, oh, that's disappointing. Well played by Jess. Congratulations to Hoff advancing alongside Ball into the round of eight. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you for listening.